Hello, hello, my name is Rhea, and welcome to Private Eye Agency. This is an itch.io game made by Max Morkson, and it was a submission to the Screamless Jam 2023, and I've just been digging through these, and I'm kind of having a great time. Um, I think it's more of a visual novel, so we're going to start. I'm, I'm probably only going to do one ending. I think there's multiple endings, but I'm going to just see what I get. Uh, Private Eye Agency. Wanted. Assistant. Must be patient. Perfectly smart, but not absolutely essential. No previous experience necessary. The hourly rate, a phone number, and that's it. That's the whole ad. The salary is surprisingly decent. I've been sending out resumes and applying to anything I can find for weeks now. Nobody seems to be hiring, or at least not hiring me, considering everything that happened. It's no surprise. Pacing back and forth there, sir. Personal assistant, hmm. I suppose I could do it. I fit the requirements, at least. This might be a scam, but rent is due. A job's a job, right? Calling them can't hurt. I grab my phone and type the agency number in. Someone immediately picks up. Private Eye Agency, we'll solve your mystery. What can I do for you? A woman, sounding annoyed. She has to be a heavy smoker. I can hear the rasp of ashes in her voice. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, hello, I'm calling about the ad in the newspaper. Really? Ah, uh, you are. Her tone immediately switches from bored and slightly irritated to enthusiastic and chipper. Yes, is the position still open? Yeah, it sure is hell still open, so here's the deal. You'd be the boss's personal assistant and... As she explains the job, I notice two things. One, she's way too excited about someone applying. Surely I can't have been the only one. Two, it sounds more like a babysitting gig than a real assistant job. But with those rates, who cares if I need to make sure a grown-ass man goes to bed on time? I have bills to pay. And a landlord's yacht to fund, I guess. Here we are. Remember, smile, look at him in the eye, don't info dump, but don't be too blunt either. Piece of cake, right? Come in. Hello, I'm here about the... Oh, hello there. Excuse me? You must be the candidate for the assistant job. I... What the actual is that? Wait, calm down. The lady on the phone did say he was eccentric. Well, she called him a weirdo. Same difference. It has to be some sort of increment cosplay. Intricate, sorry. You need this job, Asan. Just roll with it. Yep, that's me. Asan Elharhar, nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> My name is Cornelius C. Hyrus III, but please do simply call me Cornelius. He does a weird little bow and tips his hat at me. His every gesture is exaggerated and theatrical. His voice booming like he's been pulled straight from a carnival. I wonder if he ever breaks character. Well, well, well. I had not foreseen Seferina finding a replacement so soon. Oh, well. Now for the interview proper. Are you ready? Yeah, yes. Hassan, what are you doing? Stop jumping. Very good. I shall now ask you three questions and would your answers be satisfactory? I shall consider you for the job. Sure, sounds good. I wasn't expecting a pop quiz, but that beats having to explain my resume. Cornelius grabs a fountain pen off the desk and holds it up to his face like it's a microphone. Welcome to the one and only quiz show of death. Death? <laughs> what? First question. How does beat bop differ from swing? This has nothing to do with the job. Mr. Elharhar, your answer now. The difference between beep bop and swing. This one? Correct! I knew it. But you forgot to mention that beep bop does feature unconventional time signature. Oh, come on. Next question. Will this one relate to the job? Cornelius ignores me and keeps gesticulating it for some imaginary crowd. How was the revolutionary penicillin discovered? Oh, we're not talking about music anymore? Penicillin, that's some kind of meds, right? I think I read something about it. It was dumb luck. A guy forgot a sample. It grew some kind of mold that killed the bacteria. The mold was turned into antibiotics. Correct! I knew that one. I knew it. However, the name of the scientist was Sir Alexander Flemings. Now you're just cheating. You asked how it was discovered, not who did. He just ignores me. Last question! None of that shows any of my skills, but sure. How 
how did uh, Vicenna, a permanent islander philosopher, define the concept of truth? Okay, this time, if I squint just right, I can see how that one kind of relates to working as a private investigator. Even if I'm just applying to be a personal assistant, whatever. How did Avicenna define truth? No idea. I don't know. The adequation of things and the intellect? Oh, so close, however, incorrect. The phrase is actually attributed to Thomas Aquinas. He did read Avicenna's writing, so half credits. He just rephrased it. And that was our last question. Let us tally up your answers and see how well you did. That is quite the performance. You seem to know about a variety of subjects. Or are you quite content at taking wild guesses? Either way, congratulations. Thank you for playing with us tonight. It's not even noon. After careful examination of your application, I decided to let you go. Oh. Yes, I'm terribly sorry. I do wish you a great day, however. Ta-ta! He bounced me once again like he didn't waste my time. I kind of want to punch him, but the eyeball mask looks too slimy. Ew. Well, nothing I can do. I might need a job, but I have my dignity. I'm not going to beg. Well, bye. Oh, before I go... Yes? Can I ask you a question? Of course. I owe you this much... Uh, I owe you this much courtesy. What's with the mask? Mask? I figured it was cosplay, but I don't know any eyeball anime. Is it the agency's mascot or something else? Cornelius doesn't answer. He just stares at me. Before, his body language was wild and expressive. He was loud, unapologetically so. Now he's just still and quiet. What? Out of nowhere, he charges at me. He's faster than I thought. His hands grab my face, pulling me closer to the creepy giant eyeball mask. You! Oh god. You can see it. Now that I see it, close and personal, it's not a mask. It's an honest-to-god giant eyeball. That's his face. I... My heartbeat is roaring in my chest. I'm frozen. I'm a pretty strong dude. I could push him away, but my limbs just won't cooperate. Can you see my head? My real head? Move us, son. Do something for sake. I'm so sorry. I assumed it was a mask. I... This is wonderful. He just lets me go and steps away from me. The bounce back in his step. He sounds happy? You really can see it. Oh, my friend, you have a gift. Seferina, she had no idea, did she? You don't even know, do you? I... Of course you don't. What an imbecile I am. Let's start over. My name is Cornelius C. Hyrus III, co-founder of the Private Eye Agency. And I am a spirit of truth. And you, dear son, are a seer. Seer? Spirit seer? What? Did I bump my head or something? I do not believe it to be the case. Oh, what a delight. I have not had the pleasure to meet a seer in, oh, over a century. Century? Oh, dear son. I made a terrible mistake earlier. Please allow me to offer you again a position within the agency. You have skills that would be wasted working anywhere else. I thought you didn't want an assistant. I don't. I would, however, love to have a fellow investigator to rely on. Believe it or not. But competent paranormal private investigators are not easy to come by. This is so much to take in. What? Should I say yes? Is is a job, but spirits? Of course, your salary would be significantly increased. I'm in. <laughs> no, no question. <laughs> Just roll with it. You can't look into a gift horse's mouth. Splendid. I thought it was you can't look a gifted horse in the mouth. How about this? I have an appointment tonight with a client of mine. He said he has a case for me, and they are usually quite interesting. Allow me to give you a tour of the office. You can take in the lay of the land this way, and we can go meet him together. Sure, okay, let's do that. Your first case, how exciting! I don't even know what's happening anymore, but he seems like he's having the time of his life. The hours fly by as Cornelius shows me around the agency. There's two offices, one for him and one for Serafina. A waiting room for clients, a bathroom, and a small kitchenette. It's cramped, and most of the space is filled with files and books piled up. I don't know much about spirits, but I know for sure that they need to clean up more. There's dust and crumble paper everywhere. But Cornelius does clear up a corner of his own office to fit a small table, so I have my own workspace. If you decide you want to stay with our agency long term, we can purchase an actual desk for you. It might sound stupid to be moved by something so inconsequential, but I don't know. It was a nice gesture. Eventually, we leave the agency to go meet with our client. 
I can't help but glance at people as we walk down the street. Nobody seems to be paying much attention to us. They really can't see his head, can they? No. They cannot see my true form. Ah, I'm thinking out loud, sorry. Cornelia snickers softly, seemingly in a great mood. No, it just seemed logical to assume you were wondering about that. Normal humans do not have the ability to see through a spirit's disguise. And I'm not a normal human? You can see the true forms of things. My real form, for example. As far as most people are concerned, I'm just an elegant and devilishly handsome human. And I get to feast my eyes on an eye. Yay. You do have a few other abilities. Seers are truly incredible beings. Really like what? It'll be easier to demonstrate than explain. Luckily, we have a case that's bound to... Yeah, it's bound to come up in that case. That's what he was trying to say. I, I, I read click too quickly. <laughs> Guess I can be patient for a little while longer. However, something has been bothering me. You said you were a spirit of truth. What does that mean? I... He hesitates, seemingly torn. I would very much prefer to discuss that in the privacy of our office. I do hope you can forgive me. Ah, oh, here's the hotel my client was staying at. Is that... I fear so. It has a lot of blood. Their survival seems unlikely. He doesn't seem all that bothered walking up to the body to inspect it. His body language shifts when he sees the face of the victim. Oh dear. What? This is... Anatole, our client, dead. Rest in peace, you poor fool. Should we call the cops? This is a paranormal case. Human policemen would prove to be less than helpful. Only now I notice that Anatole's skin isn't human. Instead, it seems to be covered in plates of rock-like material. Alright, this is going to be the perfect opportunity to show you the ropes. Cornelia seems to already be back in great spirits. Is it a spirit thing? Touch him. Touch him! What? Touch him! Are you kidding me? If my fingerprints are all over the corpse, what do you think the cops will do to me? Nothing. He's a spirit. The same magic that shields my appearance from humans also shields him from being seen. He could just remain decomposing on the ground for months and humans would just step around him without ever noticing. We will call a friend of mine to bring his body back to his kin, but for now, we must figure out what happened to him. I owe him as much. And does where I touch him matter? No. I reach for the corpse's hand and... I have a vision. What the heck is that? You're a natural. This is one of your abilities to see her. From touching a dead body, you are able to experience the last few moments of their life. Conscious life. I, I can't make sense of anything. It's all noise. That is absolutely normal. Bodies are complicated machines, and you need to sort through all their parts to understand what you are facing. Here, look. This is what I call a truth shard. These are puzzle pieces you need to collect to see the big picture. How do I do that? Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Try to think about it like... A game, yes, that'll do. Imagine you're simply sorting through various game pieces. Like the ones that match. Ignore the ones that do not. You can do this. If you are lost and need a hint, I will be right at your side. Okay, closing my eyes. Ooh. Taking a deep breath. <sighs> Thinking about it like it's a game. I think it's coming to me. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, so am I... What am I doing? I'm touching the, the eyes? What am I... What am I doing? I don't understand. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I thought it was like a Candy Crush type thing. I didn't do too hot. I didn't do too hot. Uh-uh. Oh. Okay. So I want to get bigger things. Let's get rid of all the brains first. Then we'll get rid of the teeth. And then we'll get rid of the hearts? Kidneys? Stomachs? I don't know anymore. I know it's gross. And then we'll get rid of the... Hey! Astounding! What an incredible result! You truly are a natural. I was doing something. The demo's over. Things like, oh, this is so good. I want to see the rest of it. I want to learn more about this. This is awesome. Wow. I, I wonder if it's on Steam or if you can wishlist it somewhere. I'm going to follow this uh, developer and try to see when it comes out. That's really fun. If you guys want to give this a try, you can find it in the description down below. I will have it linked. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Rhea, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.